without Sophia. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. So let's, I'm going to do the quickest demo I've ever done. <laughs> I know it should be fine. So can you see my screen? I just move a little bit. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to show you um, this tool that we call Aptim Desktop. This is the one that we released a month ago, public beta. Uh, we have, it, it's actually a desktop app. So we have a, an app for Mac and an app for Windows. It allows you to capture all this performance data on both iOS and Android apps. You can connect your device to your Mac or your Windows computer. Uh, start a test and it will capture all the information. So I'm going to quickly show you uh, just really simple how it, it works, but to give you an idea also of the report that you get from Aptim. So I'm going to start a test here on, my, on the right side of my screen. I, I have an Android device. This is an emulator, so please don't use it for real testing. I'm just using it for the demo. Um, so I just select the device that Aptim identifies. I'm going to wait for all the apps that are listed uh, inside the that are actually inside the device. So I'm going to choose this one. That is the one that is for demos. And I'm going to put a name to my test. I'm just going to call it demo and start. So right now Aptim connects the device. It will start the app automatically once it's ready and will be uh, enable me to start interacting with the app. So this is a normal you know, exploratory test that uh, you will be running. So basically I'm going to be you know, doing some, um, checking some options. So in this app, I actually have different options that I can uh, check boxes, righty bottoms, different things that I can do. And I'm going to show you a little bit, let's say here. And anytime I can report a bug, I'm going to put, uh, I just click on report bug. I have automatically captured a screenshot. If I want to add uh, any uh, data to a screenshot, I can do. Um, let's put a demo bug here, steps to reproduce it. This would be uh, there. I can attach a video if I want. And then I click continue and I keep just testing my app. And at any time I can end session. Before I end session, I'm going to actually cause the app to crash because I can do that here. So that's it. My app will crash, stop working, and I'm just going to end my session. Okay. So now Optim, what it's doing, it's capturing uh, a lot of performance data uh, and you know everything that happened, you know, a video, a screenshot, everything that happened during the test, and it will generate two type of reports. First, I have the session report, which is a whole test. Uh, that I did. And then I will have also specific bug reports of each bug that I report during the test. Um, so here you can see both. They are first created locally. So you can actually have the reports in your own computer and don't share with anyone. They're private, they're yours. And if you want, uh, we do have the option to publish them to Jira Bug Tracker. Uh, so you can actually do that. I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to publish my bug report. And in the meantime, I'm going to show you how, uh, you know, Optim Ripple looks like. So just a quick overview, and I'm happy to uh, answer any questions after if you have uh, questions about the, the report itself. But we have three main areas that we analyze, user experience, resource usage, and errors. Uh, here you will see any issues that we identify. These are usually warnings. If any of these metrics exceeds certain threshold that is based on best practices for both uh, Android and iOS, you will see here a warning. Uh, let's say, you know, the, the data that is being uploaded and downloaded by the app, it's pretty high. Of course, if there's any exception or, or crashes, you're gonna see it here. You get a video of the whole exploration of the app. You, go, you get all the information on resource usage. So you can see CPU usage, you can see you know, all the rendering times that I talk, frame per second. You know, a lot of uh, information that is automatically captured and shown in these graphs. And if you go specifically to the error section, you can see you know, uh, the exceptions that were caught during the test. And we also enabled you with all the logs from the device so you can download and do some troubleshooting. Okay, so this is, um, and well, and lastly, actually, I'm gonna report this to Jira so you can see that. Um, this is what we just launched. Uh, I just I mentioned it's free for anyone to use. You can download it uh, directly from our website. I'm just going to choose a project in Jira. I'm going to put this a bag, medium, priority, and just publish, right? And this was pu published to Jira. 
And when you click here, it will open uh, the ticket in Jira, right? So we make this uh, for you know, testers, developers, it's really easy integration. You can see here the data that is sent, so the environment of the test. Uh, you get also a screenshot and you get the link to um, you know, the Aptium report, which is published already. So this is for teams that are you know, collaborating and they need uh, to see um, all the information in Jira as well, okay? Um, so that's it. That's what I wanted to show you today uh, from, you know, Aptim, what we've been working on. Uh, we really appreciate um, that if you're going to use it, you know, give us your feedback. Uh, as uh, JJ said, like continuous improvement, that's what we're looking for. Uh, we hope this actually helps, you know, many mobile teams to start capturing performance data, data earlier and, you know, improve uh, the, the performance of their apps. So that said, I'm going to go back to my presentation. I'm just going to have, you know, questions. And of course, uh, the last slide to thank you all for uh, listening to me and joining us today.